Hi, I'm Harry Hill. The building behind me is number 10 Church Street in Mossel Bay. It's one of the town's oldest historical buildings. When it was built by Messrs E. Mayer and Company in 1857, the resident magistrate described the property as the most commodious and extensive in the village. The building overlooked the market square as well as the outspan for the market square. On market days, um, the square as well as the outspan were filled with ox wagons and cattle resting at the outspan. The building was transferred from E. Mayer and Company to Hawes and Company in 1861. In addition to being general dealers, they also traded the Victoria Hotel within the premises. Fleming and Moody, uh, one of the most prominent trading companies in Mosselba in the late 1800s, bought the building in December 1873. They traded in just about everything from wool, leather, ostrich skins, wine, and also fine household products. This high strip fronting the building is characteristic of the many commercial properties erected in the 1800s. It facilitated the loading of goods on and off the wagons. Fleming and Moody also updated the interior of the building, including the interior decoration which they attended to. They also installed a hoist to enable them to hoist heavy loads to the top floor of the building. During this time, the building was fitted with water tanks and pumps for fire protection. It, it was also the first building to have speaking tubes within the premises, as well as the first commercial property to have a telephone and in this instance, it was linked to the harbour as well as to Mr. Moody's home. When Fleming and Company was disbanded in 1886, the property transferred to Matari, Bruins and Company. During the First World War, Matari and Bruins were interned um, as they were German immigrants and they'd lost all their assets. From 1931 to 1988, Ted Church Street was the home to the Mossabay Advertiser, not just the journalistic desk, but also the printing works. For many people, it is still known as the Advertiser Building. The Advertiser, in one of its editorials, had described the building as an ornament to the town. I trust that you've enjoyed this video, which we are producing on the historic buildings of Mossel Bay. Please join us on Memorable Mossel Bay on YouTube for more videos on these buildings.